What up, YouTube? What up, YouTube? Thanks for joining me today. You can call me Pokey Gummies. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get any Pokemon from the Generation 1 and Generation 2 games shiny in your Generation 8 games. Before we get started, there's a couple things that you guys are going to need. First of all, you need access to either 2DS or 3DS, as well as an internet connection. You're also going to need a subscription to Pokemon Bank, as well as Pokemon Transporter, which comes included. You're also going to need Pokemon Home. And last but not least, you're going to need either a copy of Gold or Silver on the Virtual Console on the 3DS or 2DS. For whatever reason, this method doesn't work on the Crystal Virtual Console, so it needs to be either Gold or Silver. But once you guys have all that, you can jump into your game and get started. Now it's time to go over the in-game requirements to get these shiny Pokemon. First of all, you're going to need to have progressed throughout the story long enough to reach Goldenrod City, which isn't very far, but it can take up a little bit of time. Once in Goldenrod City, what you're going to want to do is go to the underground section that's near the Pokemon Center. Go to where my character is, and there should be a coin case there. Pick it up, and move on to the next section. Next, go to the Goldenrod Pokemart. It's here that you're going to get the TMs for Return, as well as Headbutt. It is noted that you can get Headbutt in the Ilex Forest before this point, but if you missed it or you just don't want to go back for it, you can get it easily here. We now have all the required items that are needed for this glitch. Now we're going to get the required Pokemon. Firstly, we're going to need a Quagsire. Quagsire can be found on any of the routes shown here, and they're fairly easy to catch. You can also get a Wooper and simply evolve it. Next, you're going to need any low-level Pokemon that you can catch on pretty much the first route. In my case, I caught a Pidgey. And last but not least, you're going to need a filler Pokemon as well as a Pokemon that you're going to be turning into a Shiny. In my case, I have both a Charmander and a Bulbasaur that I'm going to be switching over into Shinies. Once you have all your Pokemon, you're going to want to head to Cherry Grove City. Once in Cherry Grove, go into the Pokemon Center and go to the PC. Now, this is very important. You're going to need to set up your PC boxes with the exact names that I show you. For whatever reason, my game was glitching out when I went to check the PC boxes and it didn't show the names properly. So I'm just going to show you on screen what you need to name each of the 8 boxes in your PC. So you're going to want to make sure you have your Pokemon party set up in this specific way. First of all, you're going to need to teach your Quagsire the TM for return. Make sure it knows it in its first move slot. Next, you're going to make it hold the TM for Headbutt. You're not teaching it to it, it has to hold it. Now we're going to arrange the party. The first Pokemon in the party is the Pokemon that you want to be shiny. The next Pokemon doesn't matter. The third Pokemon in your party has to be that low level Pokemon that you caught in the first route. Do note that for whatever reason the stats may not line up and this glitch may not work, so if you're not getting a shiny after all these steps, Maybe you have to go and catch another low level Pokemon, and you should get lucky. And last but not least, have your Quagsire in the fourth spot. Once you've sorted through that whole mess, you can exit out and leave the Pokemon Center and head into the Pokemart. As soon as you enter the Pokemart, what you want to do is save. Once your game's saved, you need to follow my steps exactly. Exit the Pokemart, and take four steps to the right. You should be right in front of the tree that's right next to the Pokemon Center. Once you're in the correct position, what you're going to want to do is go into your Pokedex and go down to number 69, Bellsprout. Click on Bellsprout and it should display its cry. As soon as its cry sound effect is finished playing, exit out and go to your bag. Go to your key items and select the coin case. It should show you any number, and for me it said 50, and you can exit out. Immediately after closing this, you should see something weird going on with your screen. Your character won't be visible anymore and it's going to be super hard to move throughout the menu. It's going to display the same lines of dialogue over and over again, but you're pretty much just going to have to keep spamming down until you finally get to the save option. Keep mashing A once you're on the save spot, and eventually your game will save. Once you do that, immediately close the game and open it back up. Now that we've gotten back into the game, you can see that everything's returned to normal. You can safely go and check your Pokemon and see that the first one in your party has been turned into a shiny. Congratulations, that's all there is to it. You can repeat this process as many times as you want, just switching out that first Pokemon in your party and they'll always be a shiny. And what's even better is, every Pokemon that you transfer from the Generation 2 Virtual Console games is going to have their hidden ability, which works perfectly for things like the starters here. 
Now, it should be noted, not every single Pokemon is catchable in the Generation 2 games. If you want Pokemon like these starters or the fossils or some of the legendaries, you're going to need to transfer them from the Generation 1 Virtual Console games, which will require another system and a purchase of the Generation 1 games. But that's not a requirement to do most Pokemon, there's only a select few that you need those games for. Once you have your desired amount of shinies, you can go to your PC and deposit them in there and save your game. Once you've done that, exit and go to the Pokemon Transporter app. Make sure that the Pokemon that you're wanting to move into your new games aren't holding any items because the Transporter app won't work if they are. So quickly transport all your Pokemon into Pokemon Bank and from Pokemon Bank you can connect to your Pokemon Home and there you have it. Alright guys, so now we have all of our Pokemon transferred up to Pokemon Home. Let's check them out. Connect to this game. And here we go. Shiny Bulbasaur. You can see it has a core fill ability. And right beside its level and its shiny index thing right there, you can see that there's a little Game Boy icon. That means that it was brought from the uh, Virtual Console games. And you can see down in its description that it was met in the Johto region. In the good old days. And the same thing for Charmander. Solar power, shiny, ready to go. And from here, it's easy enough just to transfer them right into your Pokemon Sword and Shield games. And once they're in these games, you can make them competitively viable thanks to the new Isle of Armor update. Make sure you save when you quit, and they're ready to go. Let's check them out in-game. Alrighty guys, here we are. Let's move that Bulbasaur and Charmander over. And we'll see them in the overworld. There he is. There's the boy. Look at him. Look at him. Alright, let's check out those stats. You can see the Game Boy icon, the Shiny icon... Original trainer is Pokey Cum, of course, and it has a chlorophyll ability. Doesn't have any ribbons, sadly, but that's okay. Even has the Tibbet nature. Wow, not bad. Can't say the same for Charmander, but that's all right. Still is shiny and has solar power. No complaints from me. And to make these guys competitively viable, it's an easy flight over to the Rose Tower in Winden. And there is a new NPC in the game ever since the Isle of Armor came out. You talk to him, and what he's going to do is forget all of the Pokemon that you select's moves. And it will make them competitively viable, no matter which games they came from, no matter what. The only thing that you aren't going to get after this is some of the moves they knew before, if they were event moves or if they just can't be learned in Gen 8. But for these starters, that doesn't matter at all. Alright, let's check them out. They should both be ready to go. Alright, and you see beside the Game Boy icon, there's a new Battle Ready icon, which means they can be used in ranked battles and competitive. And it's on both of them. So there you go. You can train them up, evolve them, and even give them the Max Soup to make them gigantamax a bowl. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. I really hope that everyone can get as many Shinies as they want from the Generation 1 and 2 games, as well as making them competitively viable. If you like this video, make sure to give them a thumbs up, Subscribe, and if you're interested, check me out on Twitter at PokeCummies underscore VGC and Instagram at PokeCummies. In the meantime, make sure to bring your PokeCummies.